Bulls Nation, what a special victory the Chicago Bulls had today. What a special game to watch if you're a Chicago Bulls fan. And all the way around, it was a very positive game from the offense to the defense. And of course, there are so many things we need to talk about on both sides of the basketball and both teams involved in this game. So without further ado, let's talk about the Chicago Bulls versus the Indiana Pacers. And let's do it in this video. Let's do it. What's up everybody, it's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video today. We've got yet again another Chicago Bulls game reaction and yet again we are talking about another very important victory for the Chicago Bulls. Today we had the Indiana Pacers, a very short staffed Indiana Pacers and we're going to be talking a little bit about how they played in today's game as well and some of the things that they've gone through but overall we're going to be talking about just how good the Chicago Bulls were in today's game. But before we get started please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below who you thought the Chicago Bulls standout player was who was the Chicago Bulls I guess underrated player and also how good were the Chicago Bulls today? Because in my opinion, the Chicago Bulls played absolutely phenomenal in today's game. And from start, pretty much from the start to the finish, we stuck into this game. We beat the Indiana Pacers in the things that they like to do. We were gritty defensively. We, we converted a lot of their turnovers into points, something they're known for as well. Overall, I thought this is a very good game for the Chicago Bulls. But before we go into anything further, I want to talk about two things in relation to the Indiana Pacers. Because again, when you watch these games, especially when things that have been new, that has come around since the last time you versed them, I want to give a little bit of praise to the Indiana Pacers. Again, um, I think it's very important to respect the teams that you face, and especially a team like the Indiana Pacers that play very hard, a very good team. Um, there are a few things I want to mention from that Indiana Pacers game. One... It is great to see Karis LeVert back on the court. Now, personally, since I'm a Chicago Bulls fan, I don't watch too many Indiana Pacers games. Um, so I don't think Karis LeVert played the last time we played the Indiana Pacers. But my goodness, did he ever look as good as... He basically looks as good as ever, really. He looked phenomenal in today's game, made some ridiculous shots, had a 20.5 or 6 rebound game. Really good to see him back on the court. Of course, if you know what he's been through, you'll understand how important it is to have players like Karis LeVert in the league that truly have a good story to tell, truly have that comeback mentality. And it is great to see. And I hope he can have a very good season going forward. And hopefully he does well in the rest of his career. We'll, we'll see what his future lies with, with the Pacers and beyond, or if he stays with the Pacers for a long time. Whatever the case may be, definitely something that is very good to see when you're watching it just for that specific game and hopefully for the future as well. Then, obviously, we have a bad news type of injury. Um, Miles Turner got injured in today's game after a very good block on Patrick Williams. Again, I don't like to see injuries in the league, so of course doesn't matter if it's the opponent or our team you need to show respect to these types of players that put everything on the line for their teams and Miles Turner did look like he suffered an injury um it was talked about that he could potentially return in that game so hopefully it's not as bad as I initially thought it would be and he can come back as well better than ever the Pacers are going to need him and yeah get better soon Miles Turner if it is a serious injury hopefully it's not too long out and one other thing we talk a lot about how we, the Chicago Bulls need another point guard. And we're obviously looking at very high class point guards like Lonzo and obviously players like maybe even Chris Paul, those types of point guards. Some very underrated point guards that I think the Chicago Bulls should pursue are TJ McConnell and Aaron Holiday. I think these two guys for the Indiana Pacers are absolutely vital towards their success in the future. Now, if you look at the stats of these two guys, not terrific games, but it's more on the defensive end and the impact they make all around the court, not necessarily just the scoring. Like TJ McConnell is someone that I believe the Chicago Bulls should try and go after if they can't get any of their first choice point guards, because I think he would be a massive addition to this team. Defensively, hustle-wise, offensively as well, 
He's an all-around good point guard. And he's someone that I think can keep that level when someone like Sadaranti does come off that bench or does end up going off of the floor. You bring TJ McConnell in and, and the level remains the same. So that's what I mean by the Chicago Bulls need another point guard. It's not necessarily we need an all-star point guard, but we need someone that can be that hustle guy, can be a defensive-minded player and can get into the opponent. And that's something we saw from TJ McConnell today. Now, outside of that, that's all I'm really going to mention on the Indiana Pacers side. So if you're an Indiana Pacers fan watching this video, hopefully you enjoyed the praises I gave to your team. Overall, this game was a 113-97 to win for the Chicago Bulls. And we played absolutely phenomenal basketball. And we played it in a very diverse, very balanced, and very well-structured way. This was a terrific game in most aspects where you could possibly think of. There wasn't too many negatives at all you could think of for the Chicago Bulls. Again, if you're picking at negatives in this game, you're really nitpicking at the end of the day this indiana pacers team was short staffed but the chicago bulls doesn't have time to reflect on missing players for other teams we need to take advantage of these games because we are still trying to fight for the position that the indiana pacers are in right now they're still going to be the ninth seed after this game and we're still going to be the tenth seed so we still need to fight for their position so it's important that we pick up this victory against them we are now two and one against the indiana pacers we won the season series against them and we will no longer verse them for the remainder of the season so it's up to fate now to decide whether or not the chicago bulls will end up climbing up or staying where we are or even going down but this was a good start this was a tremendous start and i thought this was definitely a very fun game to watch from every player involved in this game really from patrick williams from vucevic all the way down to troy brown who didn't have the best statistical game but you could just tell that he was very good in today's game all the way around no positive no negatives really for the chicago bulls in this game so good things to see all the way around I'm very happy with the performance that the Bulls played today. I thought offensively, we gelled so well. It looked, this was by far the best offensive game for the Bulls I've seen in a long, long time. Best offensive game I've seen from Zach Levine and Vucevic together. Best offensive game I've seen from the bench in a long time as well. So again, many, many, many big praises goes to the Chicago Bulls for the way that they played today. And we're going to be talking all about it in the box score. Every single player, most likely outside of maybe Denzel, and of course, the garbage time minute players will probably get good mentions in today's game because that's exactly how well we played. Very good to see. And hopefully this level of momentum, especially offensively and defensively as well, we were a very decent defensive team as well. We held the Indiana Pacers to under 50 points in the first half and overall held them to under 100 the entire game. So that's a very good defensive game for the Chicago Bulls as well. And hopefully this level of momentum, we can keep it up on both sides of the court for future games because we do have very important games still left to play. Now let's look at the box score. Patrick Williams... 10 points, 2 assists, 3 rebounds. I believe he has 4 steals in this game as well. Overall, that's something you simply cannot complain about. A very solid defensive effort from Patrick Williams. And of course, offensively, he's missed some shots. He made some shots. He's becoming a very vital player towards this team. There's a reason why, out of all the trades, out of everything that's happened... Patrick Williams is still starting for this team. He hasn't been benched. He hasn't been put on notice as someone that needs to pick things up. Because one, he's a rookie. And of course, there'll be mistakes made here and there. But two, he's remaining relatively consistent in what he does every single night. And that is very valuable towards this team. And once he gets that level of progression, once he gets a season under his belt and he can elevate his game even more, this team will become even more lethal offensively and defensively. So... I'm very happy with the progression Patrick Williams has made. Again, I say it nearly every game reaction. I'm happy with Patrick Williams. I have been all season. There have been a few games here and there where he struggled, and that's what rookies will do. They will struggle. Not all, It's not all sunshine and rainbows um, for rookies in the NBA, especially this season. But I do think he'll have a very positive career, and this is just the beginning of that. I'm very, very excited to see what he can do. Thaddeus Young, 14 points, 5 assists, 7 rebounds. I can't believe a game like this for Thaddeus Young and it's not the most noticeable game on the court. It's as simple as that. Thaddeus Young played great basketball today, but again, it was so balanced all the way around that it wasn't really noticeable for me personally what Thaddeus Young did today, but it was a very solid game. Playmaking wise, he made some very good passes in today's game. He got some dunks in there as well. Overall, defensively, he was fine. Um, just a really good game for Thaddeus Young. And again, it's all about the consistency with him. You don't see many games where Thaddeus Young isn't consistently putting up stats like this. 
And that's what you like to see from someone that is now starting for the Chicago Bulls and is doing it on a consistent level. I think this is the best that is young. He has been in his in his entire career. I know he used to be an 18 point per game scorer, but in my opinion, this role for Thaddeus Young fits him so much better than any other role he's played in his career. That's me personally. Again, element of bias could be there because he's played for so many teams. Of course, it's gonna be hard to remember which team he played the best for, but I really think that he's really coming into his own on this team for the Chicago Bulls. Nikola Vucevic. I'm so happy that Stacey King brought back the three cola. I missed um, being able to say that. He had 32 points, five assists, and 17 boards in today's game. He nearly had a 2020 game. Oh, 30 game. Wow, what a performance from Nikola Vucevic. Again, I, I, I thought at the beginning of the game, he looked pretty, he, he looked, like, it was going to be a rough night for him. Again, Miles Turner is a very good defensive center in the NBA. But after that first quarter, Vucevic came alive. He was scoring everything that he was looking at. And it was a very, very easy game for him as well. Of course, Miles Turner leaving in the third quarter doesn't help the cause for the Indiana Pacers and stopping a player like Vucevic. But he was doing it while Miles Turner was there as well. So it was a very good game from Nikola Vucevic. And this is probably the best game we've seen from him. This is definitely the best game we've seen with him as a bull. And again, it just shows his true value. It shows, shows his true value when he was playing for Orlando, and it shows his true value on this team, because without him, I don't think we win this game, even though it was balanced, even though it was well, it was a sc good scoring effort from every single player on the court. Vucevic was tremendous in today's game. Fantastic, fantastic performance from Nikola Vucevic. And again, this is the level that he can bring to the Chicago Bulls. This is what he brings. He brings the playmaking from the post. He brings the pick and pop. He brings the post game. He can cut to the basket. He is an underrated defender. This is what he brings to the Chicago Bulls. And I really think we will be a better team with Nikola Vucevic in that center position than we did with Wendell Carter and than we did with Daniel Gafford on the team. I think many people will start to see that over time. Obviously, that six game losing streak Half of it was with Nikola Vucevic on the team. So, of course, people had doubts about the trade. Let's just see how it goes. But this is what he can bring consistently to the team. And that's what I'm very excited to see over the course of many, many, many games for the Chicago Bulls. Uh, I can't wait to see if we are truly a better team for it. Zach Levine, 19 points, 6 assists, 8 rebounds. This is a very good game from Zach Levine. I know he didn't get that 20-point game that, I guess... He probably wanted and many people expected, but he got six assists. He crashed the balls nicely. Defensively, he was good. And overall, it was so balanced. Zach Levine didn't need to go off. Zach Levine didn't need to take dumb shots in today's game. And he didn't take dumb shots in today's game. And he still managed to crack the scoring boards with 19 points. Again, the second most on the team. And he still ended up getting more people open. He got Vucevic, a lot of assists. Um, he also will pass the ball to Vucevic again in the pick-and-roll game. Very nice for both players. And he played very well. He played into himself. He played his game. Great to see. And again, a very solid game with these two playing together. This pick-and-roll that we're going to be seeing for a long time to come is going to be very difficult to stop. Not many teams will be able to stop a Zach Levine and Nikola Vucevic pick-and-roll. And we're truly starting to see the benefits of having that pick-and-roll offensive duo like the, like the two that we've seen. Very good to see. And again, with more offensive firepower coming off of that bench, more offensive firepower like Thaddeus Young and Patrick Williams in the starting lineup, Sadaransky in the starting lineup, this team offensively can be anything it wants to be. And that is very good to see. And now it's time to focus all the way around the court from offense to defense and try and get as good as we can while we push for that playoff spot. Sadaransky, 7 points, 3 assists, 6 rebounds. Of course, it's not the 19 point and 11 assist game. But again, Sadaransky did everything on the court that he's expected to do. He made his open shots. He did find the ball. He did get some um, assists. He crashed the boards. Uh, this is probably one of the better rebounding games for Sadaransky with 6 rebounds. But he didn't need to be the scoring guy. He, he made his open shots. That's what he should be doing. He's not the main focus on the court. When he's open, take the shot, make the shot. That's what he did. Playmaking wise, a lot of it came from Zach Levine and Vucevic together. So of course, um, Sadaransky didn't get the bulk of the assists, but he moved the ball nicely. He is the guy, the glue guy. Get the ball, move it. Top of That's the way that he played today. And of course, 
Again, a very solid player. I really, truly think he's been very solid for the Chicago Bulls since starting. He has been playing solid all season. This is definitely his best season for the Chicago Bulls. I don't think anybody can say otherwise. He's been tremendous for this team so far. And again, when I talk about needing another point guard, I'm not talking about replacing Sadoransky. I'm talking about someone that can take the load off of Sadoransky when he goes to the bench. That's what I'm talking about. Because I don't think Sadoransky deserves his spot to get replaced on this team. Of course, if we have to, if, if it's what is necessary, then maybe we just have to sacrifice to get something better. But if we can, I'd like to add to Sadoransky, not take away from it. So a very solid game from him. And he's been very solid all season. Nothing has changed. Kobe White, 13 points, six assists, three rebounds. A very good game from Kobe White. Playmaking wise, I did not expect Kobe White to have six assists in this game. There were some times where he could have got more. He could have found the open man. Instead of cutting to a basket, there was a specific play where he could have passed to Larry Marketer for an open three. Larry Marketer makes that three, Kobe gets another assist. There are still elements in his game that is a bit frustrating to see when he doesn't make the open pass or he doesn't find the target that's open. And of course, Kobe White is a scorer. He's been a scorer his entire life. So this is going to be a learning curve for him and it has been all season he needs to find and learn when to move the ball to the right player instead of taking a dribble on but again he had a very good game today so i'm not going to criticize kobe white for a terrible game when he didn't have one he played really well today he played better than a lot of the other games he's played coming off of that bench this is the type of level for kobe white where i expect him to be obviously 13 points six assists those six assists are very vital towards the Chicago Bulls and how we play today. A lot of assists going around for everybody, and Kobe White added to that very nicely. But it's the points for Kobe White that I liked as well. The fact that he was able to score while facilitate as well. That is the best Kobe White, when he's able to score freely as well as move the ball. And I think the Indiana Pacers didn't do a good job in guarding him today, which is why he had the game that he had. And I thought this was a really good game from him coming off of the bench. 31 minutes played. This is not a bad game for Kobe White by any stretch of the means. Larry Markkinen, 15 points, 6 rebounds. This is the game for Larry Markkinen where if you could compare it to the last game he had against the Brooklyn Nets where he had 8 points and 5 rebounds, I believe, compared to this game for against the Indiana Pacers, 15 points and 6 rebounds. This is the type of game that I want Larry Markkinen to have consistently. Consistency is the key for Larry Markkinen. It's great to have games like this every night. Great. That's what I want. I don't want to see in the next game him only getting a few shots and having 4 points and 3 rebounds. That's, that's, that's my issue with Larry Markkinen. That has been since he's been moved to the bench. And what was great is that he only did it with 22 minutes played today. If he had 15 points in 22 minutes played. That is a very good game for someone that played so little minutes in today's game. So great to see Larry Markkinen have a game like this. But I want to see that consistency come out of him. Again, he is that sixth man coming off of that bench. He's the main scoring option on that bench. And I want to see him play like that every single night. And if he can do it every single night, then we've got a very good bench on our hands as well. Very young bench, which is why it's very inconsistent, but a very good bench nonetheless if we can see Larry Markin do this every single night. And the last player, Troy Brown Jr., three points, one assist, three rebounds. Stats-wise, not a great game from Troy Brown, as you could see, with only three points. But if you saw the way that he played today, you understand that he was very good in today's game. He was very good defensively. He ended up getting his hands in the passing lanes, got some steals out of there, was aggressive. There was a play where he got blocked by three people. Um, IQ, I guess I could say. Don't, don't need to go all the way in there when there's three people in there. There is There was a pass there he could have made. Uh, other than that, that was one play out of a very good game for 15 minutes for Troy Brown Jr., a very underrated pickup, in my opinion. And that's it for the Chicago Bulls that I'm going to mention. No must improve. It's as simple as that. I'm not picking a must improve. When the Chicago Bulls play as good as they played all the way around, it's very difficult and very, I guess, unwarranted to pick out someone for a terrible game when we play as good as we played in today's game. So there you go. I'm not going to pick a must improve. I don't feel like it's necessary during this time. And the player of the game is obviously Nikola Vucevic once again. A phenomenal game from Nikola Vucevic all the way around, from offense to defense, from scoring to playmaking, from rebounding. Every single thing you could think about with Nikola Vucevic, he did very well today. And I think this is a very clear and obvious choice. The Bulls record 
is 21 and 28, a two game win streak, a very important game against a team that is currently where we want to be. We want to move up in that playoff tournament. The Indiana Pacers are where we need to be at the moment. So a very important win for the Chicago Bulls and hopefully one that can carry us our momentum. The next game is against the Toronto Raptors. A very important game in that one as well. The Toronto Raptors, I believe, have lost to the Los Angeles Lakers or were losing to the Los Angeles Lakers. So they could be two games behind us now, which gives us a little bit of a cushion. But that cushion will go, go away really quickly if we blow that game to the Toronto Raptors. So a very important game against the Toronto Raptors and a game that I think the Bulls need to win as well. We need to win a lot of our games coming forward. But... Very solid game from the Chicago Bulls today. And again, with that momentum, hopefully we can take it over against the Toronto Raptors. And let's see exactly what's happening. With They're actually down by 10 with 12 seconds left, the Raptors. So at this point in recording. So obviously the Lakers will probably win that game. And that's very good for the Chicago Bulls as well. And we need to keep on track and we need to try and beat them in the next game against them. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Have a wonderful day. Take care and peace.